Hey everyone, so I had the pathology results on my reproductive organs that I had removed. I had a hysterectomy a few months back and I actually didn't hear anything for a while, um, but I just got the results of that. So they actually found a number of things wrong um, and that will explain why I was in tons of pain. Um, the reason I'm going to tell everyone about this is just to raise awareness for other trans guys or trans people that are on testosterone because atrophy is something that isn't discussed about or not known enough about. So like the gynecologist I saw said there was nothing wrong with me and um, yeah, basically there was. So I'm just ra raising awareness. Just want to say as well that I will never ever regret going on testosterone. It's changed my life and this is just an unfortunate side effect of it. So before any of the uh, GCs, TERFs and all that come along and say, ah, oh, you did this to yourself. You know, it's one of those things. So I'm going to tell you all about what those results were. So both ovaries were congested was the word they used. Uh, one had clear fluid, the other one did not. So I... Don't know what it's meant to be like, but obviously the fact that they're not the same and they mentioned it obviously means something wasn't quite right. Um, my left ovary, um, the word they used was embedded and then they kind of gave the term fibrosa. Um, I had cysts all over it and I ha also had cysts on the right one, but obviously they took a lot more samples from the left because obviously it wasn't right. They said that my uterus had adenomyosis I think the word is so that's when the tissue of the uterus lining has attached itself to the muscle in the uterus on the, you know onto, onto the muscle which explains why I was in absolute agony when I was exercising and when you know you know I was having you know freaky time I don't know why I'm calling it freaky time so yeah, the uterus had lots of cysts in it as well. Um, they mentioned one of them was like 10 millimetres, which sounds really small, but obviously in such a small compact reproduction area, it's quite big. Luckily, none of it was cancerous because obviously I've had cancer before. So obviously I didn't want that. It was a worry of mine actually about getting cancer. Um, so yeah. They also mentioned another thing which I cannot pronounce, but uh, it's quite common with pregnant people apparently, but I've never been pregnant. So um, not sure why, maybe that's just something that I happen to have as well growing on my ovary. So 